This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and I just got back from a trip to Home Depot. I'll admit, I wasn't expecting much when I dropped this sentry safe into my cart. I figured I could probably pick it open, but I was not expecting there to be a hole in the door through which I could literally stick a wire and unlock it. There's actually three holes where these three little lights come through. The lights are attached to a circuit board on the inside of the safe, and that circuit board is held in place with a sponge. So we can just push these lights out of the way and make room for this little bit of coat hanger that I'll use to unlock the safe. Let me show you how that's done. I'm going to push this little green LED through. Then I'm going to position this wire so I can reach the solenoid. Okay, you can see it's currently locked. I'm going to turn this wire and it is unlocked. Okay, let's turn this around and I'll show you exactly what's going on inside the safe. We have three screws to take the back of this door off. Okay, here we have our high security sponge. You can see that green LED that I pushed out of the way. And all I did was reach through this hole and push down on this solenoid, which allows the bolts to retract. Okay, there's more than a few problems here. The most obvious ones are you shouldn't have easily accessible holes in the door and securing critical components with a sponge is a problem as well. But what should also be obvious is that this safe is a product to avoid. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.